Hello guys, so today I am going to discuss about field dependency. It's a very important topic in Salesforce and I am going to divide this topic into four points that are first, what is field dependency? I am going to tell you that what field dependency is by its definition or something like that and then the second point comes which is when do you need to use it? Uh, I am going to explain that in which situations you need to use field dependency and in which situation you should avoid it. I am going to tell you that and then the third point is how to implement it? I'm going to tell you uh, by, by a simple demo that how to implement field level uh, field dependency in your org or like in Salesforce. And then the fourth point, points to remember. I'm going to tell you the points that you need to remember while implementing field dependency. So let's begin. Now let's have a look at the definition of field dependency. Field dependencies are the filters that allows us to change the contents of a pick list based on the value of another field. Yes, uh, we use field dependency whenever we want a field's value to be determined by the another field's value. And for that, let's take an example. Uh, let's say there are two fields, field 1 and field 2. We want field 2's value to be controlled by the value of field 1. Then in that situation, we'll create a field dependency and in that field dependency, we'll set field 1 as controlling field because this is the terminology we use in field dependency and field 2 will be used as dependent field. This means that whatever value there will be in field 1, uh, there will be values according to that only in field 2. So we are controlling a field's value by the uh, value of another field. This is what field dependency do. Now let's have a look that when do we need to use field dependency. So here is the situation when you need to use field dependencies in your object in Salesforce. So let's see what it is. Uh, whenever you want to, a value of a picklist field to be available based on the value of another picklist or checkbox field. Yes, uh, whenever you want a pick list, uh, like pick list can have multiple values, first of all. They, they can be 100 and they can be 200 values. But you want your users to uh, like se select, a, like uh, to have a subset based on the uh, based on the value of another pick list field or another checkbox uh, to be available on that pick list field. Not the 100 or 200 values, only uh, t uh, 10 or 20 values based on the value selected on another pick list, which is controlling that pick list or uh, based on the checkbox like we can uh, like we can set controlling field as pick list or checkbox both of them can be used as uh, controlling field but dependent field can be pick list or multi select pick list only uh, we'll discuss this uh, like a bit more in the last point that is points to uh, points that you need to remember but now let's focus on this so uh, i'm talking about the situation when you need to use field dependency on an object so like here I have two situations when you need to use it. So, the, so uh, let's see the first situation. Okay. This con uh, continent, a pick list field, which has six or seven values uh, based on the continents we have in this world. And uh, like we have country, which has 196 or 195 or 200 or 100 values. Uh, you have selected a continent as Europe. And now you're selecting country as India. Does that, does that make any sense? Because India comes under Asia not under Europe and uh, let's take another example you have selected continent as Asia but you are selecting country as uh, like UK in that situation it also doesn't make any sense so whenever you want a value of country or an, any pick list to be controlled by the value which is available on another pick list uh, then you will create a field dependency so now we will create a field dependency in this situation where controlling field will be continent that whenever Asia is selected only the countries which are uh, which comes under Asia continent should be available into this pick list and when we select Europe then only the countries which are available uh, like which comes under Europe uh, should come under like sh uh, should come and into this pick list so like this is the situation this is the first situation when we need to create a field dependency where a uh, controlling field will be continent and a dependent field will be country in that situation whenever we select Asia only the countries which are uh, which comes under Asia will come in the country pick list field. Uh, le le let's say you have selected Asia. Now in this country pick list, you will not see UK, Germany, France uh, just because you haven't selected into uh, like just because of the field dependency. Just because of the field dependency in country pick list uh, fields, uh, the UK, uh, I mean UK, France, Germany, those countries will not be available. Only the countries which comes under Asia will be available into this country pick list field. Now let's see the, the second situation that we have uh, where we need to create a field dependency. Uh, 
Okay, uh, before that, before going to the second situation, uh, I want to tell you that we can set only two data type uh, fields uh, as controlling. What I'm trying to say is that only two data type fields can be controlling. First one is a pick list. Second one is a checkbox. No other field can control another val another field's value because their values are not defined. Because uh, like a text field cannot control a value of uh, another field because text is not defined type. Whereas pick list has a defined type and defined values, already defined values and checkbox is checked or unchecked. That's it. So uh, or in this situation, we have a city pick list. And in this city pick list, we have multiple cities uh, based on whatever we want to. And uh, like over here, we have union territory also. And this is a checkbox field. If I select this checkbox, then union territories should be available into this pick list. Otherwise, the cities uh, should be available. If if this checkbox is isn't uh, if this checkbox isn't, isn't selected, then in city pick list field, the values of union ter uh, territory should not be available. So in these situations, uh, we're going to create field dependency. Now, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create both of these situations field dependency into my org and show the demo to you. So let's go. So now let's see that how we are going to implement a uh, field dependency in our Salesforce org. So I have uh, like taken the same example which I have explained earlier. Uh, I have created those uh, like continent and country fields into my bank account object and also the union territory and city field into that object. And uh, I'm going to show you that how after implementing field dependency, the values can be controlled of a field by another field. So first of all, let's have a look at the bank account object. Uh, we are going to go to bank account object like this. And now we are going to create a new record and we'll see that how fields actually work over here. Uh, these are all the fields which we can enter for creating a new bank account record and here comes the continent field. Uh, in the continent field, we can select any continent uh, that you want. Uh, let's say we uh, like select Asia and here is the country. Oh, there are multiple, multiple countries, approximately 196 countries. Uh, yeah, <laughs> available over here, but we want the, only the countries which are in Asia, not in other continents. So for that, we'll create a field dependency between both of these where continent will be the controlling field and country will be the dependent field. And uh, the second example, which we're going to do, uh, like which we're going to implement with the next field dependency, second field dependency is union territory. Uh, here are all the cities of India. Like I have only like created, uh, I've only uh, like only entered the cities in India because I live in India. Yeah, you must be knowing about that. Uh, and, um, I've entered all the fields over here, or, or like all the values, all the cities over here. But I want, if I select union territory, then only union territory should be available in that. But it's the same after selecting the union territory checkbox also. So what we are going to do is we are going to implement, uh, we are going to create two field dependencies. So let's see how we're going to create it. Okay, so to create that uh, field dependency, for, first you need to go to setup like this. And over here, we uh, need to go to object manager into setup and uh, here you can see where is the bank account object over here. In the bank account object, we'll go to fields and relationships and over here, we'll click on field dependency. Like this. Now, we, uh, I'm going to create new field dependency and we'll select controlling field as continent and country. Can you see that only picklist fields are coming over here and checkbox fields are coming over here. Not any other field is coming. Whereas in dependent field, only picklist fields and custom multi-select picklist fields are coming. So, like, uh, like we are going to uh, dive deep into it in the last section of this uh, video. But currently we want to create a field dependency between continent and country. So continent. Continent, country, continent. Okay. So now uh, you have to select the countries which are available in Africa. So uh, I'm really not sure which countries are in Africa. So I have created a like list over here. And let's see which countries come in Africa. Algeria, Angola, Benin, Botswana, Burkina, Burundi. There are so many. So I'm going to select Algeria, Angola. Uh, no, Bahrain is not there. 
Benin, Botswana, Benin, and then where is Botswana? Here is Botswana, and there are so many fields. I'm not going to select all the fields, but I I'm just select I'm going to select some of the fields so that I can show you that how it works. Cape Verde chart. Let's select uh, some more. Add. I I'm not sure that I'm pronouncing it right or wrong, but yeah. Uh, Ghana. Or. Oh, I've deselected. You are oh, uh, like a mistake I made is uh, I have like I mean I released control. Uh, you should select the fields uh, like select the values by pressing the control only. Control Banya. Uh, this one. Algeria. Benin. And any other field, Ethiopia, Ghana, and so many. And now let's see which comes under Antarctica. In Antarctica, uh, Antarctica. Uh, let's see what uh, do we have in Asia. I guess Afghanistan. Yes, Afghanistan. Armenia. Bahrain, Bangladesh. Bahrain, Bangladesh. China, Taiwan, Georgia, China, Georgia, I don't forget India, Nepal, mm, where is India, Sri Lanka also comes in Asia I guess. Iran, Iraq, Indonesia, India. Iran, Iraq, Indonesia, India. And there are so many. And that's all about uh, Asia. And then we are going to select for Australia. For Australia. Which fields do we have? New Zealand, Australia, and let's select only New Zealand. That's it. And uh, in Europe, we're gonna select. I guess Belarus comes in Europe. Hmm. Albania, Austria, Belarus, yeah, I was right. Belgium, Croatia, Cyprus, and Germany, Greece, again, Dominican Republic, Republic. Germany, Georgia, and Georgia, man. Malta, Moldova, Manoka, Monaco. Netherlands, Poland, Portugal, yeah that's it and uh, there are some more fields over here you can see 
North America and South America. So over here we can select. In North America we have America. I Let's say it's selling any of them. Marshall Islands, Malaysia, this, this, that. And in this, Mexico, Mauritius. I know I'm selecting weird values, but I just want to show you that how field dependency works. That's it. And after selecting all these, click on include values. And all these values are included into this. Like in North America, when you select North America in the controlling field, only these values will occur. When you select South America, only these two values will uh, will be there. And when you select Africa, um, the values which we have selected over here will be... Oh, uh, we haven't selected it. Ah, they, these are lost. Let's take any of the value. Like this, include. And over here, include. In Asia, like this, in. Include over here, include and over here, like this, include. That's it. Uh, I'm not gonna select uh, it anymore, but uh, I'll, I'll do it like this. And after this, I'll click on save. Before save, you can preview it like this. Okay, whenever you select continent as Africa, these fields will be there, only these fields. And when you select Antarctica, only these will be there. And when you select Australia, these will be there. And when you select Europe, only these will be there. That's it. And save it. Now, after saving this field dependency, you can uh, again go back to that bank account and create a new uh, record like this and go on to continent. Before going to continent, if you will try to select country, it's disabled. You can't like enable it before selecting on any continent. And if you select Africa, then you can see the fields available over there. And previously there was a there was at least 196 or 200 values present over here. But now we are controlling these fields value by this continent fields value. Now if you select Asia, then different fields will be there. And now if you select Europe, these fields will be there. That's it. Um, now, uh, we, we want to do the same with Union Territory and City. So, let's see uh, how we're going to do that. Okay. Uh, we'll go back to that object again. Uh, like this. In, uh, like from setup to object manager, then bank account, then fields and relationships, and then field dependencies, and then click on new. And after clicking on new, we'll select the controlling field as, as, as Union Territory. And then City. That's it. Continue. Okay, whenever the union territory uh, checkbox is checked, uh, what values do you want? Uh, I want Delhi, Chandigarh. Where is Chandigarh? Include the value. I want Delhi, Daman. I want Daman also. And I want. Uh, Okay, I'm not gonna select the Delhi because it's not there. I guess so. Is it the yeah the U is again Yeah and uh, like what uh, fields do I want uh, when like uh, the field is unchecked? I want all of them. I want all and all of them. Include. 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 
Mm-hmm. Like this. But I don't want Chandigarh to be there. So I'll leave it as it is. Uh, I want to tell you one more thing that uh, you can select the field also or you can uh, like I mean you can keep the field of keep that value into both when it's checked also when it's unchecked also like I want Chandigarh to be available on uh, whether it is checked or whether it is not checked then I'll put it like this otherwise I'll exclude it that's how simple it is and then click on save now go back to bank account objects tab click on new and over here, as you can see, city, uh, there are multiple cities over here, but can you see Chandigarh? No, it's not there, I guess, yeah, it's not there. But I'll select Union Territory, Chandigarh, Tamil Nadu, all the three values are here. Hope you have understood the demo and uh, like now you will be able to create field dependencies in your org. Uh, like like in any of the object where the requirements occur and but still there is something that you're missing if you're not watching the video again or uh, like if you're like leaving the video right now only because you have understood that how field dependencies work uh, there are some points there are still some points that you need to remember while implementing field dependencies so let's see what they are Congratulations, you have successfully understood that how to implement field dependency in your org. But there are still some points that you need to consider while implementing field dependency. So let's have a look about, uh, at what they are. So the first point is this. You need to make sure that you understand this table very well in order to create field dependency. Let's uh, see what this is. Okay, uh, so here are the data type. Uh, standard picklist, custom picklist, custom multi-select picklist, standard checkbox and custom checkbox. These are the type of fields uh, which you can include while creating field dependency. Except these fields, you cannot uh, include any of the fields uh, or any of the other uh, data types, uh, like field of any other data type into field dependency. You can include only these. And this explains that which uh, field can be controlling and which cannot be controlling, which can be dependent and which cannot be dependent. So let's have a clear look at it. Okay. So here it's uh, like the first thing is the first data type is standard picklist and then second is custom picklist. Okay, uh, picklist is a data type uh, like which we can use to create fields in Salesforce in any of the object. But this is further divided into two types: standard picklist and custom picklist. What standard picklist means is the picklist fields which are already created into that object and which cannot be deleted. Those are called as standard picklist fields. Whereas custom picklist fields are the fields created by you in your object uh, to meet the needs and requirements of your organization. Those are custom picklist fields and these uh, fields can, can be deleted. So this is the basic difference between standard picklist and custom picklist. So let's have a look at which can be controlling and which cannot be controlling. Okay, so standard picklist can be controlling. Okay, that's it. And standard picklist cannot be dependent. You need to make sure that that uh, you cannot control a standard picklist field's value by any other field, by any other picklist field or by any other checkbox. It cannot be dependent in a field dependency. Now let's have a look at the custom picklist field. Custom picklist can be controlling and it can be dependent also, which we have done right now in the demo only. Okay, uh, so this is all about picklist. Now let's have a look at the uh, third data type, which is custom multi-select picklist. Why it is only custom? Because uh, they are not uh, like, they are, I mean, there are no multi-select picklists already created into any of the object. That is the only reason I have written as custom multi-select picklist instead of standard multi-select picklist and custom multi-select picklist. So in custom multi-select picklist, it cannot be controlling. In fact, multi-select picklists can never be controlling. They can only be dependent in a field dependency. You can control the fields which are available on that multi um, on that multi-select picklist uh, based on the field value of another picklist or checkbox not uh, based on any other multi select picklist okay and then comes the uh, fourth data type which is standard checkbox and the fifth custom checkbox okay uh, again checkbox field uh, is like simple check or uncheck this is also uh, divided into two subtypes which are standard checkbox and custom checkbox standard checkbox is the checkbox fields which are already created into that object uh, by salesforce only uh, and they cannot be deleted and uh, custom Checkbox means uh, the fields, uh, the checkboxed fields which you have created in order to meet the needs and requirements of your organization. So those are custom checkboxes. 
so in standard checkbox it can be controlling but it can never be dependent obviously and custom checkbox it can be controlling but it can never be dependent so basically we can control only two types of fields like only uh, two type of fields can be dependent which are custom pick list custom multi select pick list that's it no other field can be dependent whereas we can have all the fields as controlling except custom multi select pick list so that's it about the first point now let's begin with the second point which is this does, does this does that makes any sense? I don't think so. Let me explain it to you. Okay. I have three fields. A, B, C. All these three fields are on the same object. Okay. Can we control B and C field by A field? Yes, that is possible. So I'll mark it as yes. We can control two pick list or uh, two fields based on a single controlling field like uh, we can have a field controlling for two dependent uh, like two dependent fields so uh, we can create two de field dependencies in which a field will be controlling for both of them and uh, then comes the next situation can a single field be controlled by two fields like can there be two controlling fields absolutely not this is not allowed in salesforce and then the third option is a to B to C can we control this uh, field, this pick list values or this field's values by this field? Yes, okay. Then, uh, like, can this field's value can be controlled by this field, but this field is dependent on this field dependency? What what I what I'm trying to say over here is like we'll create a field dependency with A and B, where B will be dependent and A will be controlling. Then, can we create another field dependency in which B will be controlling and C will be dependent? Yes, you can do that in Salesforce. Now, there are some more points uh, that you need to take care. Let's see what they are. So, here are some more points that you need to consider. And let's see what they are. Dependent fields cannot have default values, whereas controlling fields can have default values. Yes. Uh, whenever you are uh, creating a pick list field, it asks you for the default value. And uh, like, in fact, you can uh, set, the, set that default value as first and then click that checkbox. Use the first value as default value. But whenever you create field dependency, the dependent field cannot have a default value because obviously it is, control, it is being controlled by the controlling field. So only controlling field can have default values, whereas uh, de dependent field cannot have default values. That's it. Next point. Field level security settings for a controlling and dependent field are independent. Yes. Uh, you sometimes may think that uh, if I'll hide, uh, if, uh, if I'll hide a dependent field, the controlling field will automatically be hidden. No, it's not like that. You have to explicitly hide the controlling field also if you want to hide both of the fields. So make sure that whenever you are like field, like field dependencies are independent of field level security. So please do not mix both of them. Next one. When creating field dependency with existing fields, it doesn't affect the existing values in the records. Yes, exactly. Uh, let's say uh, we have already created a record in which continent is Asia, uh, but country is Germany. Then in that situation, uh, like after that, we have created the field dependency. In that situation, that record which will have a uh, continent as Asia and uh, like country as uh, Germany uh, will not have any problem. It will stay like this only. But when we'll edit that record again, then there they might come a problem. So uh, like it doesn't affect the existing records. It only affects the records which we are going to create after enabling or after creating that field dependency. That's it about field dependency. Now wait, don't you want more videos like this to enhance your career in Salesforce or to make a career in Salesforce? Yes, I do. So just hit the subscribe button over here with the notification bell. And if you're watching this video on Facebook or LinkedIn, there's a link down in the description or in the comments. Just hit that link, go to the YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button to get weekly videos all related to Salesforce with the Salesforce Hulk. So see you next week. Until then, bye-bye. Take care.